Hey guys, so I went to Ulta today to just go pick up my uh, free birthday gift and I was looking around to see if they had the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I didn't see it because um, this was like right in front when you walked in. So that this is all you saw was a huge display of their real push up liner. And I looked at it, walked past, and then my friend Rose, I Rose, uh, she watches my videos, which is, which is awesome. Um, she's like, have you seen the Lorac Pro 2? And I'm like, yeah, I was just looking for it. And so she showed it to me, and I was able to get it with um, points that I earned up, and I had $10 off coupon, so I was psyched. So I basically got this for free which is awesome so I saved 28 bucks and then this retails for 18 bucks so that's an awesome gift and it changes um, the brush changes like when you twist it up it is so cool it just um, how the heck did I do that oh yeah so it twists up and like here's the regular which is really long and then it shrinks down to like a more small spike so there's long and there's short so I think that's just so cool so I'm excited to try this mascara and then of course the beautiful Lorac Pro 2 palette which I'm going to be doing some looks on if you guys have any suggestions on looks that you'd like to see from this palette specific colors eye combinations definitely let me know in the description box you guys have probably all seen it but I just I just have to show it because it's so pretty isn't that gorgeous I love it okay so I am losing daylight and we are going to get on with my first impression of the Real Push Up Liner. Is it worth the hype? We're going to find out right now. Okay, so I'm going to start in the middle of my eye. And it's going on extremely smooth. I don't feel like I'm having any issues so far. So I'm just going to take this into the inner corner. So I clicked it again, and this time I'm not wiping off any of the excess. Just going to kind of stamp. So that was fairly easy. I can tell that this will take getting used to because that is huge, like thickness wise. So let's try this on this eye. So I'm going to just start out in the outer corner.
just paint it on in. So that was easier than starting in the middle for me, was just to start at the corner. And then you can kind of make it however big you want to. But I can see how it would be like really easy to go overboard the first time, like I'm doing. So, um, it's not the darkest of blacks that I've seen. It goes, but I really like the formula so far. And you can go over it though to make it more black. It's pretty easy to get into that corner down here. Yeah, this eye turned out much better than this one because that one's like totally thick. So it just takes like, you know, a little bit of like probably one time practice and you're good to go. So this eye was totally easier to do than this one. That's because it was my first time ever trying it out. I think that this is really actually nice. I like the way that it felt on going on my skin. My eyes, it felt really smooth and easy application. I had no, like, I didn't really have a hard time or anything. Uh, the drawback that I find is that you're going to have to, you know, wipe, wipe it off a lot because one click does take a lot of product out. Now I'm thinking maybe if you start out on this side with the product, you won't have that problem and just drag it on in. So it will just take more testing, but yeah, so far, first impression, I like it and I would recommend the product. So I have some more videos coming up. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, find this helpful please give this video a thumbs up I totally appreciate it I have a Instagram giveaway going on right now for Sephora so follow me on Instagram that's all you have to do and um, yeah so tell me if you've tried this liner if you like it or not or if you're going to what are your thoughts so until next time stay safe be kind and I'll see you in my next video bye Mwah.